Hello and welcome everybody to my tutorial extravaganza. So, I figured I'd put up um, one tutorial based off of just the VAB itself. Now, um, I'm surprised that not a lot of people know a lot of these things about um, the VAB. And, uh, you know, for me, I, you know, you just learn them as you play, but... Um, for the symmetry node and the angle snap mode, if you look at X and C on your keyboard, X will play with the symmetry, and yeah, that's what she said, and uh, C will change the angle snap. Um, I think most people know that if you hold shift, you can zoom in and out, um, and I think I might be leaving out another feature or whatever, but... Um, yeah, I just figured I should tell you guys that. Um, yeah, so I use a smaller SES module so I can keep the weight down. It's always a good thing to keep the weight down. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put a docking port on here, and there will be a video based solely on docking and how to do it. Um, I just think that there's not a, there's a lot of videos out there that show you docking, but they don't really explain it in a good fashion. It's just so, uh, you know, it's just kind of like, oh yeah, well, you figure it out when you figure it out. But it's, you know, I mean, if you just learn the basics of the nav ball and how it works and what it's telling you, um, the docking should be no problem at all. Now, mind you, it did take me I don't even know how many tries to actually learn how to dock, but, uh, it, you know, probably 30 tries or 40 tries, you know, you, you run out of SAS fuel or this, that, and the other, or you do the constant, I call it like the orbital dance. You basically are like trying to line up with the target and then you, f you burn towards the target. The target moves a little bit and you just keep on going around and around and around the target and you're just burning away all your fuel all your rcs you get frustrated and you quit and you just say oh, yeah, i'll figure that out later well yeah i'm hopefully gonna you know take away some of that uh mystery of how to do it because everyone talks about it nobody actually does it and uh i mean i've seen a lot of videos on you know, space stations and stuff like that, which I have a space station, which maybe I'll show in another episode, but I, it, the whole thing shakes, so I, I just, you know, I'm not going to show you guys a, once again, a subpar product of something I made, and it's just, you know, a floating, shaking station, it, I think it has to do something with the SAS modules on it, but I'm not sure. You know, there's like probably eight SAS modules on it because it's about seven or eight different parts all put together. Um, you know, that could be a possibility. I, I just don't know. Um, so anyways, we're building a basic, um, a basic orbiter right now. But you're probably wondering why it's such a big rocket if all I'm doing is getting into orbit. And what's the point of having RC RCS once again? It, when you're in orbit, it just, no, it, you don't need it, um, yeah, th there's more to come, so, just, um, mind the, uh, all the extras I'm throwing on here, um, let's see, oh, uh, yeah, another one with the radial decouplers, you need to make sure that these decouplers aren't actually, or, I mean, you need to make sure that when you're attaching stuff to them, that it's actually going onto the decoupler and not the ac actually around the, uh, the, um, you know, the part here, the, the fuel tank. Um, one thing I will say is after making so many videos already, even though I'm only on my, what, fifth or sixth episode here, it's becoming a lot less, uh, awkward. You know, before, uh, you know, just talking to a camera, or I mean, well, talking by yourself, sitting in a, you know, I'm sitting in my apartment talking to myself, basically. But, you know, um, it's getting a little bit better. I, I, I don't feel as awkward, but at the same time, you know, 
so um yeah this is our basic rocket you know next thing you really want to check out and make sure everything's correct is the staging and what you want firing and when so I basically want all these engines around it to fire at once and um, if you look this is the uh, the decoupler I believe for the uh, yes it is um, so I'll move this one up here because this is for the this tank here and this one is for the solid rocket booster now I'm gonna have a separate stage for that you can add stages and take them away through here and I'm gonna move these up and uh, my next tutorial will be basically on the nav ball and how it works and um, I, I'm it might be more so uh, throughout the episodes I'm not a hundred percent sure but you know there's a lot of different aspects you have to cover when it comes down to the nav ball and you can't just fit that into one episode I, I don't have 15 I only have a 15 minute time for now with YouTube so we'll, we'll get what we can get done uh, okay let's see um oh yeah I forgot to add those now with these um the landing struts here we go well, I mean they're not landing struts but you know they're the with the struts I'm gonna make this a lander once again leaving you confused and wondering where I'm going you guys should all know by now um I have I have uh, the gear the uh, G which controls gear I have that actually turned off because I can't stand it when I accidentally hit some of these keys and you know like with my moon missions and stuff like that um, I set up most of it through the uh, the action grouping because it's just easier I, I find like you know when you have like two or three different sets of struts on one ship um, you're better off action grouping a lot of that stuff because you're gonna make a mistake at some point I mean I know that some people are just ultra perfect and never will make a mistake but yeah I've destroyed a lot of stuff just by accident by hitting it by hitting just the, the gear button the G so yeah here we go um this will be my first launch too on you know first recorded launch it's amazing you know we should break out the champagne and uh yeah we should get some yeah um okay so i think this thing is ready to launch it seems like everything is good all right we'll see who the uh next contestants are in the race for space now orbiting is probably you know the major milestone in this game for most people like I mean I remember when I first got something in orbit like I freaked out like I was you know I was just about as happy as I was when I got that rover to the moon all right so Sidsy Frederick Hanbo good luck yeah so I think I got the microphone settings and the sound settings for this game, um, for the most part, it, like, you know, set pretty good. Um, now I'm going to talk about the nav ball real quick. You know, you can see the uh, prograde, which is right here. And, you know, obviously it's pointed straight up. And, you know, that's just implying that the center of force is going straight up. Uh, now with getting an orbit if I go up I will have a polar orbit if I go down it will be a polar orbit just in the opposite direction um, if you turn right or left um, I don't suggest going left because having a um, I don't even know what that's called but uh, you know, you're going basically against the 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 actual rotation of the the uh, curbing 
and if you you know if you go right, which is 90, I believe. Yes, I, I just call it I, to for me for reference. I just call it 90 because it's just the easiest way for me to remember it. Uh, yeah, so this rocket is doing pretty well overall. There's always these minor pops in the 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 audio like that one you just heard and I it always scares the hell out of me because I think something exploded but you just never hear anything from it I mean maybe it's the stuff hitting the ground I guess I, I don't know but yeah so I'm gonna start a little bit of a tilt an orbital tilt here just to get it you know just to change the um, change the the arch or whatever it's called I mean I'm, I'm trying to be very basic and I, I'm not I, I don't you know I want somebody who's never played this game to watch it and be able to understand um, and I'll be talking more about the retro grade in a little bit and get a little bit more of a turn here let's see and turn it over to 90 And uh, actually, I'll, I'll just turn it all the way down. And running out of fuel, might as well get as much um, meters per second as you can. So, we haven't even reached orbit yet, but as you can see, I haven't even really used the SAS. I mean, I, I, I launched without it for a second there, but I, you don't really need, with a rocket like this, I mean, you can use it, but you don't really need it. I mean, it'll just keep your fingers off the controls for a little bit if you want to just relax. But, um, yeah. So as you can see, I'm a little bit under. And there's a reason for that, because I'm heading out right now. Like, it's just, it's increasing the, uh, the flight time as far as how far out I'm going. You want that, you don't want that to be too high because you're basically just burning a lot of fuel going out instead of um, around. You want your orbit to be around. You don't want to go all the way out and then just end up falling right back. So I found the magic number for orbit is somewhere around the 2,100 meters per second range. I, I, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong a little bit, but it, it's somewhere around there. As long as you can get to that number, roughly, you're you're fine. Um, I didn't pack a lot of fuel on this for for orbiting, but I can show you a little bit more about that in the next episode, which will be basically the maneuvering nodes and um, just correcting your orbit and changing it. Uh, I'm not going to drastically change anything, but it's going to be basically more on the maneuvering node and how it works and what you're doing. See, as you can see, as 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 you speed up and as your orbit changes, you want to be able to uh, make sure that this isn't going up anymore, which I'm going to have a pretty crazy orbit, but and I'm probably burned a lot of fuel, but eh, I'll fix that later. I actually made a somewhat similar rocket and I got it all the way into orbit with the moon so I'm pretty confident in this design overall and that will be our one of our later episodes too getting into orbit around the moon and landing uh, let's see that orbit is about to s here we go we're in orbit that's it I mean, you could power down the engine right now, and you're in orbit forever. So, thank you for watching, and uh, the next episode will be more on maneuvering, because this is a crazy orbit, 161 by 110. So, thank you for watching, and uh, until next time.